If you're looking to win the battle against duplicates in HubSpot once and for all, then you're in the right spot. Today, we're gonna to show you how a tool called Qualify makes it super simple to flag duplicates and even automatically merge them, all while providing detailed reporting and greater control over which records and properties get retained. Over the next few minutes, I'm gonna show you just how easy Qualify is to use and also all of the things that it can do. And there's a lot, but I'm gonna start with one of the things that makes me really excited. One of the things you really could never do with duplicates and HubSpot up until now, and that's get some accurate reporting over just how much duplicates do we have, where did they come from, when were they created. And so I'm gonna start off here with just a, a very simple dashboard. It's just got a few reports. This could definitely be added to, but at a glance, I can see how many duplicate companies do I have? How many duplicate contacts do I have? And what are the sources of those duplicate companies and contacts? And of course, if I wanted to break this out over time or by who owns them, I could add those reports really easily as well. So I just wanted to give you a glance at what you can see with the reporting capabilities with Qualify. But before we dive into this any further, let's actually look at how it gets used. So the first thing to know about Qualify is it is built for HubSpot. And when you set it up, you can tell right away that it is a HubSpot native integration. The only thing you have to do is jump over to the marketplace, search for Qualify, just like the bear, uh, and then hit install app. There's no going and needing to set up a separate account somewhere else and then doing a complex integration. The only thing you have to do is hit install app. It's gonna walk you through a couple simple steps to select your account, grant it permissions, and then everything you're gonna do with Qualify is right here in HubSpot. And where you're gonna start is in Qualify's settings. So it's just under integrations, connected apps, go to Qualify, and you're gonna see a nice little list of settings here. And this is how you can configure how Qualify works. And this is already gonna give you much greater control over how duplicates are flagged and managed in HubSpot than you've ever had before. So the first thing you're gonna see here is our duplicate rules. So we can open it up here and one of the things that I love about Qualify is it's gonna come preloaded with a whole set of rules for us for deduplicating contacts, companies, and deals. And what's great is this list may be all you need. You might be able to take this list, run with it, and you're already gonna see a ton of value in Qualify. But of course, you may want to edit a filter or create a new rule. So let's show you how to do that quick. So let's say I want to expand on this first and last name and phone number. So one of the things I love about Qualify is when you log in or open up one of these rules, what it's gonna look like is the same as setting filters anywhere else in the platform. So it should feel very, very natural to create these rules. Essentially, you're creating a filter and when folks match this filter, it's gonna flag them as duplicates. So out of the box here with this first and last name and phone number, it's gonna flag duplicates when the first name matches the first name property, the last names match and the phone numbers match. But one of the things that you can do with this greater control is you can say, maybe this rule is great, but if they're already a customer, they've already got the lifecycle state of customer, I don't actually wanna flag them as, as duplicates. Once they've hit customer, I've already reviewed them and I know I don't have any duplicate customers, for example. So we can come in here, add a new filter and we can say, that life cycle stage and we can say is none of customer. And so now we can actually add some segmentation to our rules. So anybody that's not customers that have these three properties matching, Qualify is gonna flag them as duplicates and it's gonna ignore all of our customers. But of course you can get very, very specific to the use cases that you want in here. So I'm gonna go ahead and delete that so that we just have our standard rules and again, we can see all these. And of course, we can create a new rule and add any filters that we want to across contacts, companies, and deals. But Qualify is gonna go one step further here and give us some formatting rules that allow us to make those matches a little bit fuzzier so that it catches more duplicates for us. So let's jump in here and I'll show you what I mean. So in here, Qualify has a variety of settings that we can do kind of some fuzzy matching. So we can say, you know, we want to ignore accents. So if there is an accent on the E on the first name of one record and not on the first name of another record, but everything else matches in our rules, we do want to go ahead and flag that. And we can do that the same for subdomains in like email domains and URLs, domain extensions, common words, special characters, phone numbers. And we also have that for our companies and our deals. So we can toggle these on or off so we can control how strict we want those other rules we set 
to apply when we have some slight differences in those properties. So again, just much, much greater control than we've ever had before about what gets flagged as a duplicate in HubSpot. So in addition to the rules about what gets flagged, we can also set here what gets identified as our primary record. So Qualify is going to say, okay, these two records are duplicates, and it's going to also say which one it identifies as the primary record, which is gonna be a nice indication when you are merging records manually, but it's gonna be really, really important when you merge records automatically, we'll show you here in a second. But we can come in here, edit these primary rules, you're going to pick one rule for each object of contacts, companies, and deals. And there is a nice little list of rules in here that you can use uh, as a starting place. You can pick one of these if one of these sounds good to you, or you can create your own. But essentially, when you come in here, it's basically going to do kind of a waterfall comparison. So first thing it's going to do when it's looking at two records in this instance is it's going to say, which record has an email that's known? Okay, they both have an email node. Then it's gonna look at this next one, which record uh, doesn't have a hard bounce reason. Neither of them have a hard bounce reason. It's gonna continue to go through here. And of course, we can make it uh, very, very strict or more loose as we kind of add rules here. And if it gets to the end and, and it's, they're still kind of tied with the rule, then basically it's going to look at which record was created first. So there is always a fallback if it gets all the way through the rules that you've set and uh, they still match up here. So we can go back to rules. I really like this best email last activity, this default one that was already created here. Uh, so I do recommend kind of starting there if you don't know where to start, but of course you can get very, very custom, create your own rule and set that waterfall criteria. And you can change which what the rule um, looks like or which rule you're using for each of these objects. So again, much, much greater control. All right, and then the last step here is our merge rules. So when records get merged, either manually or automatically, uh, Qualify is going to use HubSpot's default merge behavior. So what happens if you don't like HubSpot's default merge behavior, or you like HubSpot's default merge behavior, but for this specific property, we want it to always keep the primary. We want it to always keep the um, the last time, the, the most recently updated uh, of either of those records. So we can come in here and create a rule and we can set a rule by property. So let's say we want to um, just look at this annual revenue property. And we wanna say, regardless of which record the annual property is on, we want to keep the one that was most recently updated. We can save that. And now anytime we're merging with Qualify, it's always gonna keep the annual revenue that was updated most recently. We can set that by individual properties, again, across our contacts, companies, and deals, so that when we're merging, we know exactly what to expect in terms of what properties are being retained in that merged record. All right, so once we have our rules set up, now we get to do the fun part of actually merging our duplicates. And so when you first set up Qualify, chances are you're doing this because you wanna check out how many duplicates you have, and you probably wanna do some initial cleanup. So there is a nice easy way to start to merge records in bulk using Qualify. And what you're gonna do to do that is you're gonna set up a very simple workflow. So we're gonna jump over here to our workflows. And we're just gonna create a new workflow and we're gonna start out with contacts. We'll create a new contact-based workflow. And basically what we're going to do is we're going to manually enroll a list of contacts into this workflow that we want to merge. And so we can leave the trigger to be manually triggered only, and we can add just a very simple step here. If you search for qualify in your actions, you're gonna see this merge duplicate contact and very, very easy, no configuration required. We just save that and essentially if a contact gets enrolled in here and Qualify has identified it as a duplicate, it's gonna merge it into the record that Qualify has identified as the primary record of those duplicates based on the rules we set. So very, very simple workflow. We'll just set a name here for bulk merge duplicates. And once we have this workflow, we can then bounce over to our contacts and you're gonna to start to see the power of Qualify right away with the properties that it gives you, which is also what powers that reporting that we opened with. 
So we'll pop open our advanced filters and we'll just search for qualify and you can see all the properties that qualify is going to give you across contacts, companies, and deals. So in our case, we want to filter all of the duplicate records. So we're just going to say qualified number of duplicates is greater than zero. And this is going to filter all of our contacts here that have been identified as duplicates. And since that workflow is going to merge the non-primary record into the primary record, we'll go ahead and say, just to kind of keep things clean, it would work if you didn't do this step, we're going to go ahead and say that it isn't the primary. Just so when we're looking at workflow enrollment, we can get an accurate count based on those workflow metrics about how many duplicates that we actually merged together. So we're going to say is equal to false. And so now it's going to show us all the duplicate records that aren't the primary. And so we could enroll from here, but if we wanted to get even more granular, remember we had multiple rules, multiple ways that Qualify was flagging our duplicates. We could get even more specific here and we could say, I only want to look at duplicates that are flagged as duplicates because of a specific rule that we set. So maybe they email match or that first name, last name, phone number. So we can set the rule that we want or rules that we want to flag this. In, our, in this case, for this initial cleanup, I want all of the flagged duplicates. So I'm gonna leave those filters alone and go ahead and exit out of here. All right, so now I've got my list of all of my duplicate records that aren't labeled as the primary. And I can, of course, select all of those, come over here to more and enroll in workflow. And I can go over here and find my merge, my bulk merge duplicates workflow I just created. We'll select that and we can enroll all four of these. I'm not gonna enroll, so we still have some duplicates to work with here in just a second. But if you hit enroll, then all four of these would enroll and qualify would go ahead and merge them right there. Right away, we have a nice bulk cleanup and we're, we're like a few minutes in here. We've got qualify set up, our rules set up, and we've already done a massive cleanup on our duplicates. But what about on an ongoing basis? So one of the things that I really, really love about Qualify is the automatic merge. So we can come back over here to this workflow. You can, of course, create a separate workflow or you can edit this one, but we can add some triggers in here so that records get merged automatically when they are duplicates. So what would that look like? We'll go ahead and do that based on contact properties. Again, this is where the power of our Qualify properties come in. So we're gonna say, again, uh, is not the primary so that we can, our metrics give us a nice clear picture of all the records that we merged together into the primaries. And then we can come in here and say, which rules we want to kick off a automatic merge. And this is what I love about Qualify. There's some rules that you probably want to flag duplicates because duplicates are likely but you may not want to merge them automatically. You may not be confident enough in that rule that every time contacts meet all that criteria, they're a duplicate, so we wanna merge them automatically. But then there are probably rules, like what we talked about earlier, right? First name, last name, and phone number. If all of those match, it's probably, a, we can be pretty confident that that is a actual duplicate. And so we could use that rule to automatically merge them. So we can again go to our duplicate rules here and pick the one that we want here. So first name, last name, phone number, we can save this and then we would have it, the, it automatically, so we won't enroll existing contacts again, just so we have contacts to work with through this demo, uh, but we will enroll anytime it's, the duplicate is flagged for that rule. It's gonna enroll in this workflow and it's just gonna merge it automatically for us, nothing we have to do. And it's just, our duplicates are just gonna stay nice and cleaned up right inside of HubSpot automatically. What about those other rules? What about those other rules that maybe we don't want it to automatically merge? So how, Qualify is already gonna flag that as a duplicate for us, but maybe we want to send a notification. So I'm gonna turn this workflow off here for just a second. Let's swap out our rule here. And let's say that if the rule is just, let's pretend that's uh, first name, last name, and IP city, maybe that's not enough for us to automatically merge them, but we do want somebody on our team to get notified to, to evaluate that manually and clean that up. So we can swap out our rule here in the trigger and delete the merge step and replace that merge step with some sort of internal uh, email or we could do a um, we could do a task, we can do whatever we'd like here 
to make sure that our team is becoming aware of these potential duplicates, reviewing them manually and merging them. So let's talk about how would you review them manually? How would you do that merge? So let's jump over here into one of our duplicate contacts, my good friend, Michael Scott here. And one of the things that Qualify is gonna give us at the individual contact level is this nice little right-hand side card. And we can see, okay, for Michael Scott, He's got one duplicate, and that duplicate record is this other Michael Scott, Michael Scott 551. Uh, so we can click over here, we can view that record if we want to, and it's gonna tell us, okay, is Michael Scott 551, is he labeled as the primary? If so, then it's gonna show primary here. And so anytime we see primary here, probably wanna jump over to that primary record. Or is he just a duplicate of this record, meaning that this record is the primary? So that's the case here. He's just a duplicate. And so what we can do here is we can go to actions and we can merge that into the current contact. It's going to go ahead and do that merge for us, follow all the rules that we want about what properties get retained when we do that merge. And it's going to make sure that we have a nice clean merged record here. And you know, we now see that there are no other duplicates. So one of the things that I really, really like about this that HubSpot doesn't do out of the box is that this gives duplicate management right into the hands of the people who are actually working with these contacts on a day-to-day -day basis and probably have a pretty good idea over whether that is actually a duplicate record or if it's just kind of a false flag. So salespeople, customer success people, in their day-to-day -day work, as they're kind of coming into these contact records and working them, they can say, oh, looks like we've got this duplicate flagged and they can go ahead and merge them. So again, make sure that your system is nice and clean because it's putting the cleanup into the hands of the people that are actually working this day-to-day -day and are gonna actually benefit from that cleanup. One of the things I really, really like about Qualify that you definitely don't get out of the box with HubSpot. All right, so we've covered automatic merging, we've covered bulk merging, we've covered automatic notifications, we've covered manual merging. Let's bounce back to where we started with these dashboards. You probably have a pretty good idea of how easy it is to build these dashboards because it gives us those properties. And we can use those properties to run filters as we saw in contacts, to run lists, but also to create reports like this. All right, so let's go ahead and click into one of these reports to just show you just how easy it is to build it with those properties. So we're gonna go into customize here and you can see it was a very simple report of count of companies here and I'm breaking it down right now by original source type, but you could break this down by company owner, date that it was created, whatever you wanna do there. Uh, and then for advanced filters, we're just seeing, we're just saying qualified number of duplicates is greater than zero so that it's only showing the duplicates in those reports. Of course, we could use those other properties to drill down much further to say, you know, number of duplicates by a specific rule, uh, really whatever we wanna do, giving those properties on the objects, the contacts, companies, and deals really, really open up the capabilities that we can use for reporting, all kinds of possibilities to create a nice, robust dashboard that shows us everything we wanna know about how many duplicates we have, where they came from, why they're flagged as duplicates, when they were created, everything we needed to know to keep HubSpot clean, and that's really what it's all about. So definitely go make sure to check out Qualify. I've never seen an easier tool to manage your duplicates in HubSpot. We're gonna have a link in the description below. Let us know what you think. Let us know if you have any questions.